Welcome back. Born and raised as the Queen's third child, Prince Andrew had the world at his feet, enjoying all the privileges that come as a royal. After a career that took him to the skies and out to sea, the Duke of York's globe-trotting adventures are now the centre of a major criminal investigation, with his links to disgraced pedophile Jeffrey Epstein rocking Buckingham Palace to its absolute core. Prince Andrew denies all allegations of any sexual misconduct and refutes yeah, reports he is not assisting with the investigation. But it's a brand new book from author Nigel Cawthorn that has the world asking, should the Queen have seen Andrew's fall from grace coming? And Nigel Cawthorn joins us now. Nigel, welcome to The Morning Show. Thanks so much for joining us. Your book, it's called Prince Andrew, Epstein and the Palace, and it takes us right back to the beginning. How good, was, morning. good morning. Good uh, morning. How was Prince Andrew's upbringing different to, say, Charles, his older brother? Was he the mummy's boy? Well, he's, he certainly was his mother's favourite. Uh, he was a very um, strong-willed child, even the redoubtable uh, um, Prince Philip called him the boss at home. Um, and I always think that if you're brought up behind um, palace gates, uh, when from the time you can first walk and talk, people are bowing and scraping to you, you must get a very odd view of the world. OK. Now, you say that Diana played a big role in Prince Andrew settling down and, quote, pausing the revolving door, unquote, of women. Now, is it fair to say other senior royals were aware of his sort of his early playboy days, if you like? Oh, yes, it was all over, over the newspapers. Uh, we, the uh, British uh, newspaper buyers couldn't get enough of it. You know, it's been alleged, Nigel, that Prince Andrew's globe-trotting role as the UK's trade envoy, that is what allowed for him to regularly visit Geoffrey Epstein. Why was it that he was given so much freedom? Uh, I, I, I think, really, they just wanted such, him to do something. Um, uh, the, the problem with having such a large royal family uh, is that, that uh, there's rather too many of them to, to have a, a, a decent function each. Uh, it, it did seem like something he could pull off, but he, he was, seemed extremely reck reckless with uh, taxpayers' money. He would never take a commercial airline. He'd always have to take a private plane. Uh, he even had a valet come along with him carrying an extra large... Uh, uh, ironing board to iron his trousers. Oh, because oh, you can't get ironing boards anywhere else in the world. Let's talk about oh, the infamous uh, BBC interview. We know all about it. Do you think it was the right move for him or uh, Palace PR? What would they have made of that at the time? Well, palpably, it was the wrong move. And I, I just wonder, you know, if, if, if he can really be taken apart, uh, apart by a, a relatively mild interviewer like Emily Maitlis, what's she going to do when the FBI get their hands on him? You know, this is, this is massive, Nigel, and it's changing the way so many people view the monarchy as an institution. Is there any way that the palace can repair the damage that's been done? Well, they, they, they've um, sidelined him uh, in a rather interesting way. They, they, they managed to kind of uh, really kind of cover up things a bit but by um, having the whole Mexic uh, thing going on at the, at the same time. But what puzzles me about that is that... that um, uh, the Sussexes have, have been uh, stripped of their HRH titles and no longer get taxpayers' money through the Privy Purse. Um, now that um, uh, Prince Andrew has uh, announced that he's retiring from all public duties too, surely he should be stripped of his, his HRH and get, receive no more money out of my pocket. Mm. Nigel, what would the Queen be making of this saga? Well, she's in a very difficult position because uh, the FBI are no notoriously dogged. Um, the American Department of Justice has now put in a, a formal request for cooperation of uh, the authorities in this country to get um, uh, Andrew to, to testify as a witness. He's, he's not been charged with anything in, in, in the US, so there's no um, chance of an extradition at this point. But the, the Queen's in, in, in a position where obviously she wants to protect her son, who did go to war for her, um, and she's, her, her hands are constitutionally tied. I, I imagine she can put some pressure on um, behind closed doors, but I don't think even, even the, uh, the President of the United States has the, the authority to, 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 to stop the uh, Department of Justice um, 
proceeding with, with criminal investigations. Yeah. You know, throughout all of this, Fergie has shown her support while Princess Eugenie and Beatrice have stayed silent. What do you think might be happening behind closed doors? Well, <laughs> Fergie was one of the people who advised him to clear it all by doing that interview. Mm. So <laughs> I think they're, they're probably um, steering clear of the cutley draw. <laughs> OK. Hey, Nigel, what do you reckon this is going to look like in 12 months from now? Where will Prince Andrew be? What will he be doing? What will his standing be? Well, he, somehow this, this situation has to be resolved. Um, uh, he says he's cooperating. Uh, well, his, his, his lawyers say he's cooperating. But what is that, that, we don't know what that means. Did, did, did he say, look, I'll give you five minutes on the phone after I get back from the pub? Um, uh, he, he's not going to sit. At his, he, if he really wanted to cooperate, he could fly to New York tomorrow, or he could go to the, the FBI. Have an office in in the American Embassy here. He could go there if he really wanted to cooperate. I think the key here, though, is Ghislaine Maxwell, mm. because clearly that there have been uh, very serious criminal allegations made against her. She's disappeared off the face of the earth. Though someone recently said they saw in, in Paris over the weekend. Um, but once the FBI get hold of her, what are they going to say? You know, yeah. tell us all about Prince Andrew or you go to jail for the rest of your life. Yeah. Which, which do you want? Nigel Cawthorn, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. Nigel's book is called Prince Andrew, Epstein and the Palace and that book is out right now.